OK, so now the next one that they're going to ask, or that I'll ask, is f of g of x. All right? And so in this problem, what you guys can see is we're multiplying the f and the g. So this is what we're going to call multiplication of our two functions. So when written like this, f g of x, what that's going to represent, or f times g of x, is f of x times g of x. All right? And one thing I want you guys to note, uh, I'll get to that in a second. So now what we're simply doing is just multiplying our function f of x times our function g of x. So therefore, that's going to equal x squared times negative x plus 1. Make sure I put this in parentheses to make sure I understand I have to multiply my x squared times both of my terms in g of x. Therefore, I'm going to have a negative x cubed plus x squared. All right, And the one thing I want you guys to notice, it, would I get the same answer if I did g of f of x? Are you going to get the same answer? Yeah, yeah right? Because you could, it doesn't matter how, which way you multiply. You'd still get the same answer. You'd just be multiplying x squared using distributive property from the other side. But however, Dimitri, you'd still get the exact same answer. All right? But here, f times g of x equals negative x cubed plus x squared. 